All right. Um, what's up, guys? This is my first video. I don't. I can't even really tell you which day this is gonna be uploaded. I plan on posting weekly. Um, for my first video, though, I figured why not do a confession and confess to you guys ten things that even I don't even know if some of my family knows. So try and think. I don't know if I want to go in order. Because maybe I should save the good ones for last. Some of them really aren't that interesting, to be honest. Alright, I'll start with a... Uh, oh my god, there's going to be so many bloopers. I know there is. Confession number one. My GPS, aka my guilty pleasure songs, I like to listen to when I work out or go for a run, are See You Again by Miley Cyrus. Because, I mean, it's just a fantastic song, to be honest. Um, that was kind of back like in our Hannah Montana days, so I don't really like to admit to that. Waking Up in Vegas by Katy Perry. That song gets me pumped, honestly. And then Va Va Voom by Nicki Minaj, because that song just... Uh... Confession number two. Alright, confession number two. I swear my family does not believe me when I say this, but I got stung by a bee once in my entire life, and it was kind of... A stupid way to get stung by a bee, to be honest with you. I stepped on it in the grass, which... My toe, I stepped on it with my middle toe on my left foot, and it swelled up. But when it swelled back down, like, it grew longer. And my family doesn't believe me, and I don't know why, but they just, I guess they must have thought I had ugly feet this entire time, but I swear to you, they were beautiful at one point. Confession number three, to be completely honest, I don't even know if this is considered a confession, but I have never broken a bone, and I really want to. Like, even though it's not a good feeling, I feel like I need to know how it feels to break a bone. Everyone in school, just in daily life, always has those stories like, oh my god, like I broke my arm doing this, or I broke my leg doing that, and it's like, so I even, <laughs> I sometimes ponder, like in school, or just like anywhere, of ways to break a bone. Like, Alright, maybe I don't want to break a leg, because I don't really feel like being on crutches for a while, but like an arm or like a wrist so I can at least have the sling and people can sign my cast and stuff. I feel like this video is going to be so short. I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, confession number five. Yes, yeah, alright. I just, I have them numbered differently in my phone than the way I'm going about them. Confession... No. Confession number four. I have peed my pants in bed several times and pretty recently. I mean, I'm pretty old, kind of. I mean, I'm 19. I really shouldn't be doing that anymore. You ever have those dreams where, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should ask my sister. I, don't know. I always have dreams where it's like, I don't know what I'm even doing, but I start peeing in my dream. And then I, I'm making it sound like I do this a lot. I promise you, I don't do it that much, but... <laughs> I'm just saying that it happens sometimes, and it's not like when I was a kid, like, pretty recent. You wake up, and you just pissed yourself. And one time, like, a few years ago, I did it. I was wearing, um, literally, like, my favorite, um, underwear. And then I woke up, and I had completely peed myself, like, at 4 o'clock in the morning. And I didn't know what to do. I had school the next day. So I just took the underwear and I put it back in my drawer, and I switched into different underwear. Because I didn't want it, like... I just didn't even want to put it in the laundry because you're gonna smell it. So I just <laughs> I put it back in my drawer. I don't know what ended up happening, honestly. It might have stayed in my drawer and then I just didn't wear it for a while for like a really long time. I'm not still sitting in my own urine. I'm not even wearing that one. I have my new favorite underwear on now. Yeah. I need new underwear though. My underwear is falling apart. There's like rips everywhere. There's rips in the crotch. I, I don't know what's happening. Alright, confession number five. Alright, kind of subtle. Um, I've had my license now for a little over two years. I just got pulled over recently for the first time, which was on my bucket list, so I was kind of happy about that. In those two years, I've never gotten to an accident, knock on wood, but I've hit two parked cars. One, pulling out of not my driveway, a friend's driveway, and then pulling into a parking space in a parking lot. I don't think there was any damage to either of the cars. I checked the one when I pulled out of the um, driveway. But I didn't really check the one in the parking lot. Because I was hungry and I wanted to go get food. But, so it might have been a hit and run. Okay, confession number six. 
All right, when I was in elementary school, I would go to the bathroom. This is already getting weird. I would go to the bathroom and then on my way back to the classroom, I would always <laughs> pretend I was like a ninja. This is like first or second grade, so don't think I'm weird. It still is kind of weird, but I always check all the hallways to make sure no one was coming, like a janitor or anything, and then I would legit do somersaults across the hallway, like back and forth, and then I'd press myself up against like the wall and like skim it, like watching out for my enemies or wh whoever, my invisible imaginary enemies. I was so stupid. And then I remember one time I went to the bathroom and my friend was there and I don't know how I convinced him to do this, but when we left, I told him that I do this and he joined in. That's like first or second grade. I honestly can't even remember which grade that was. But then in fifth grade, walking in the hall and I remember finding out that there are cameras everywhere. I don't know why I wouldn't know that. Of course there would be cameras in the school hallways. like. In second grade or whatever, I'm doing these cartwheels, like somersaults, pretending to be a ninja. These like stupid, like ninja moves down the hallway. And I bet everyone in the office was watching me on these cameras, looking like a complete idiot. Confession number seven, seven. Okay, so this one's pretty bad. Um, in first grade, I don't know what was wrong with me in first grade. I was a weirdo. I thought it would be funny to go into school one random day, I'd tell the kids, like my friends, that the night before I was chased by a serial killer. I have no idea where I came up with that idea. I thought it would be funny and like we're all in first grade so we're stupid and so they actually believed it. Stuff spreads throughout the day in the bathroom, in the cafeteria, in the hallway. Kids were finding out like the end of that day. My teacher found out, and then I was like confronted with my mom at the end of the school day. Like, oh my god, your son is telling everyone he was chased by a serial killer. And I cried. That's like all I really remember because I feel like I kind of blocked it out. It was so embarrassing. I don't know why I did that, honestly. Um, confession number. Jesus Christ. I Hopefully, you're keeping up with this. You know which one we're on. Uh, Alright, this got him home alone, honestly, because this one's really bad. To my brother, I am so sorry I did this. In, how, I forget how long ago this was. This was like a while ago, like five or six years ago. Um, my brother finished the soda in the house, and I was so mad. I don't know why I was so mad, but so I go upstairs in our room. We share a room, and he just got Black Ops 2. And I was just so mad at him that I took the disc and I snapped it in half. And don't think I'm a horrible person only because the second it snapped, I regretted it. I didn't know what to do anymore. He had just bought it. So I think I put it like in my backpack. Like a few days went by and then that's when Hurricane, was it Irene or Sandy? New Jersey problems. I don't really know. I think it was Irene, cause yeah, okay, so I live across the street from my town's high school, and a ton of trees in front of the school fell over from, uh, <laughs> so, a week went past, we like didn't have electricity, like, so no one went to school. They were going back to school after the hurricane. The trees were still knocked down, there were holes in the ground because the roots had been dug up, so. What I do, I don't go to my town's high school, I went to a different high school. So I would wait for the bus to go to my high school in front of that high school, my town high school, across the street. So that morning, sat, um, like in the front of the school, waiting for the bus. And I remembered that I had the snapped Black Ops disc in my backpack. So I figured, like, I can throw it into the hole. So I took both pieces and I threw them into the hole that the tree used to be. And then a few days later they filled it back up and like planted grass and stuff. So literally to this day I am so sorry to my brother. This, he never, nobody in my family knows this. I never told him because I felt so guilty for it. So hopefully he doesn't watch this video but if he does I am so sorry. Your Black Ops 2 disc is snapped and buried five feet underground across the street. So bad. <laughs> okay, so confession number nine, I went to camp once in my entire life 
Um, and it was the worst week. I just totally went there with, like, nobody that I really knew. So it was just a ton of strangers. And I felt like it was really meant for, like, littler kids. And then it was like, I was like 15 at the time, I think. And you couldn't even go to the bathroom by yourself. You needed a bathroom buddy to go to the bathroom, which was right there. So stupid. So me and these two other kids were dying of starvation. They did not feed us at that place. We had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're supposed to be eating like every three hours. And they like wouldn't really allow anything in the cabin. They were like so strict. One of my counselors, I had two in my cabin. To this day, I literally can't even remember their names. I can't even remember the names of the two kids I stole. Damn, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. One of my counselors had Gatorade, a pack of 50 Gatorades, and it was like all for him. Like, being a 15 year old boy out in the middle of the woods, starving and so thirsty. Not, well, we stole three because I think we each took one. Like a cabin meeting before, like, we had to go to bed. The counselor was like, who stole my Gatorade or whatever, and none of us owned up to it. So, like, for... I don't even remember your name, but yes, I stole your Gatorade. But tell the damn camp to feed us more. You're literally killing children out there. Number 10. I went through a slim, shady phase in s sophomore year. Oh, Jesus. It was so bad. It like, I did something bad to my hair, like, I either tried to do something to it and it didn't work out well, so, like, my last resort was I just dyed it all blonde and, like, shaved it. It looked so bad. I had one picture I took in the mirror, and the only person I got to see it was the girl that I, like, liked in high school, so, I, and then I deleted it. I also remember I kind of deleted it because it was just such a bad picture. Like, not even just my hair, like, the lighting. And I had, like, 50 pimples all over my face. And I was just like, nah. Um, alright. Uh, I have no idea how to do an outro. I don't, my intro was pretty lame anyway, too. But, this is my first video, so I have no idea what I'm doing. So just bear with me. Just please stick with me. Because I have, like, some fun ideas to do for videos in the future. It's just, I kind of felt like for my first video, I couldn't just jump into that stuff because you have no clue who I am. But no, trust me, it'll get more interesting. This was a little more of a lame video. I just, to kind of start off my channel, I, I plan on posting weekly. I have no idea though which day they're going to go up. Yeah, so subscribe, please. Honestly, if you watch this, I promise you it's going to get more interesting. So just subscribe and please give a thumbs up. Oh my god, he keeps farting. It's so bad. My hair looks so stupid right now. I just didn't know what to do. Honestly, I woke up and I was like, oh my god, my camera that I bought is sitting in the corner of my room. I should probably use that. And I was like, I always wanted to make a YouTube channel. Comment a confession that you have that you want to tell me if you want to follow me on any of my social media. So I'll put them down in the link below. Oopers. I'm going to put the links down below. Yeah, that's my outro. I think the outro was longer than the whole video anyway. Bye.